Our Maureen Ume has been working hard to break down everything that's happening in a new special that dropped today on the Fox local app. Maureen live with us now in D.C. with D.C. activist Ron Moen to continue uh, such an important discussion, Maureen, on what is driving this crime spate. Indeed, and you know there isn't one simple answer because it is a complex issue. But what we wanted to look at was what was happening in the late 80s and early 90s in D.C. when we were the murder capital of uh, the nation. That's what we were dubbed. And Fox 5 had a special called City Under Siege where nightly we looked at the drug problem, we looked at the violence, but we also looked at solutions. Uh, it was a hugely popular program. What we found that crime back then was truly bad. I mean, let me just give you some of the numbers compared to today. So back in 1992, we had an all-time high of homicides of 500 nine carjackings. We had 9,000 in one year and 7,500 robberies. Now today, those numbers are infinitely lower, but still people feel like this is still a city under siege and they want solutions. And as you said, every day we're reporting on something else. And a lot of these crimes involve young people. We wanted to talk to people who have been there, done that, people who've seen uh, their solutions work and really wanted to just put some sort of uh, context to this. Ron Moten, as you mentioned, longtime D.C. residents, a peace activist. Uh, we really enjoyed what you said to us uh, talking about the problem. But first of all, ask, asking you, what do you think is causing the spike in crime today? So the ecosystem of love and order has been destroyed. We don't have any balance. So because of that, we have an earthquake that's occurring, right? So you have to have balance with love and order. Some people need to be incarcerated and help on the inside. Some people need to be helped on the outside. And some people want to want to know that we're doing that, that we're doing our job to make sure people are safe, but also that our children, our babies are getting the services that they need before they get into uh, criminal activity or after they get into criminal activity. And right now, I cannot say that that's happening at the level that it needs to happen. And people who say, well, you just want to throw people in jail, jail say me, right? And I didn't have to go for a long time. I didn't go for 10, 20, 30 years. That's what we fought against in the, in the 90s. That, that's what destroyed black families. We, right, right. We're not talking about that. that. That's when we was unbalanced then, right? Now we're unbalanced in a whole different direction. We have to come to the middle, right, and get some balance back on this so we can get rid of this earthquake that we're experiencing right now. What took us off balance? Because when you were doing this uh, years ago, you were talking to these young people. I remember vividly uh, you had them, you were talking to them, you were helping them uh, with mentorship programs, et cetera. What broke that down where now we're seeing these programs gone and these kids really lawless? Well, we have a lot of programs, but the, so you got a lot of children or people on the street corner. If there's no friction, no pressure on them, why would they go to the program? So it's a balance. Once again, it's a balance. And we, we help reduce violence for, what, four straight years, homicides and murders. It's because it was a balance. And you had law enforcement doing their job. We were doing our job. And with that friction, we made diamonds. Mm -hmm. That's gone? It's gone. It needs to be brought back. There's no balance. You have to have balance. We cannot keep on going to these two extremes. What about legislatively? I know that the city council has talked about doing things. Mayor Bowser, she's on the Hill today talking to lawmakers uh, about this crime problem. What about the legislation? Where does that come in? Well, we have to stop this regressive behavior. Mm -hmm. We have to understand that, yes, there are a lot of uh, circumstances for us, poverty and other things that play into this, but we cannot sit back and say that it's all right to kill, that it's all right to carjack, and there are no consequences. We cannot say that when our children and parents and mothers need help, that they don't get it. It has to be a balance, and people have to come together, not just the government. In our communities, we cannot allow this and accept this. It can happen. We can fix this. We fixed it before. I remember we had 13 girl gangs in D.C. We had Chopper City, Lynch Mob, we, all these things. We fixed it. We came together as a community and fixed it. We can do it again, but it has to be a balance. And right now, we do not have a balance. Ron Moten, thank you as always for your passion and for the work you do. And as you can see, I mean, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg here. This problem is complex. We hope to keep talking about it and hopefully finding solutions, uh, but it's going to take a community approach. And unfortunately, right now, it doesn't seem like that's happening uh, to the extent that it needs to. Uh, you can catch much more of this in-depth piece. It, of course, drops it on Fox Local. Check it out. D download it on your app. Uh, it's worth the watch. And of course, uh, asking you to chime in on the conversation. Always loving to talk to our public in terms of, uh, you know, do you have any solutions? Is there a story
story you'd like for us to highlight, we certainly would like to talk about it because it takes a community. It's, sometimes they say it takes a village to raise a child. This is going to take a community to solve this problem so that we are no longer a city under siege. Marina? Uh, yeah, Maureen, uh, certainly. And if we look back into the 80s and 90s and we saw the crime rates then, then we need to look at the solutions that helped achieve lower crime rates then to see if we bring those back. But to your point, and Ron's, uh, this is an all-encompassing effort. It is not just one person or one entity to try and drive right. down what is an absolute spate in crime here in D.C. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you, Ron. And again, you can catch that special on the Fox Local app starting today. Watch it anytime. Find it on the True Crime Shelf.